Hi, this is attorney Nicole Christie from the Christie Law Firm, where we work hard to make families stronger. So today I want to talk to you about how do I prove that I am sober? So there are times when a child is removed because of substance abuse. So it's either abuse of alcohol or abuse of some type of drug. And so there is an importance that the state puts on proving the sobriety of the parent. It is not enough to say, I stopped using. You have to be able to establish that. And the best way to establish that is through ongoing testing. And so DCF sometimes dictates what type of testing should be done or the facility that you go to may say, this is the type of testing that we do. But that test is necessary. Those weekly tests, those bi-monthly tests, whatever is the frequency that's being recommended, that is how you establish your sobriety. Now, the issue is that, you know, you could say on January 1st, I stopped using this particular substance or I stopped abusing this particular substance. Just because it's March and you've had, you know, negative urines doesn't mean that that's still enough time to establish sobriety. Typically, DCF likes to see five to nine months of sobriety. And that can be tough when your child is in DCF's custody, but it is absolutely necessary. And you have to have negative urines. You can't have negative in January, positive in March, negative in June, and then positive again in July. They That will be an issue for DCF, and they will say that you are unable to maintain your sobriety, which is critical in getting your kids back. So just understand that these tests need to happen on a regular basis. If you skip a test, they're gonna consider that just as might as well say you're positive. And I don't think that that's particularly fair. I think circumstances can happen, but you know, unfortunately, you don't always get the benefit of the doubt when dealing with DCF. So maintain those regular tests. Make sure those tests are being handled properly. If you're at a facility and you think it's kind of shaky, go get your own tests. You can go to a different facility. You can get privately, you can pay for your own test. But make sure you have a series of tests that show that you are not using any substances. Those negative tests are going to be essential for you. You'll be able to produce those. DCF will get their copies and it will establish your sobriety for you. Yes, you've said you are, you know, not using and you're not abusing the substances, but at least when you have these tests, it backs you up. No one can argue that against you on that with those negative tests. So I encourage you to stick with it, you know, figure out what's the best way to remain sober, whatever the classes that you need to take, whatever are the types of counseling that you need to engage in. If you've got to change your friends, if you've got to change out who you hang out with, even with family members, do what you need to do to be able to stay sober because your babies are relying on that. They need to get home. They need to be home with you. They need to be cuddled by you. They need to hear your voice. They need to engage you and just be you watch them grow up. And so these are the blessings that you have. And so if it gets to a point where unfortunately DCF has removed your children because of substance use, negative screens are going to be the key to getting them back home. So take care if you have any questions and even dealing with DCF. We have a bunch of other videos and we hope that you check those out so you can get yourself educated and anything we can do to help strengthen you, this is what we're here for. Take care. Bye-bye.